Hey guys, so I'm finally back uh, doing reviews. I know I haven't been uh, doing them for like a couple weeks now. I apologize, I've just been working a lot. Uh, I've been really, really busy. I haven't been able to go to the movies that much. Um, I haven't seen anything uh, until yesterday. Uh, I, yeah, I went and saw Exodus Gods and Kings last night and uh, finally did. And I would have done a review for it last night, but I just like felt like I got. The movie was at 10.20, and I didn't get back till 1 a.m., and I was tired. I didn't feel like doing a review for it. I had to be at work the next day, or I had to be at work this morning, and I was just dead tired and everything. I literally just got off work when I saw that movie. It was like I got off work from working 11, 11 a.m. till 9 p.m., um, and then went and saw Exodus, Gods, and Kings, which was two and a half hours long. Um, but anyways... Going into Exodus Gods and Kings, I was looking forward to it and also not looking forward to it at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, there were things that worried me a lot about this movie, um, mainly some of the casting uh, that was being shown in the trailers and the fact that you got a story about Moses that takes place in Egypt and it's all the movie consists of pretty much what it looked like all white actors including Joel Edgerton as fucking fucking Ramses which was so distracting like from the fir first moment I saw the trailer I knew like somebody like it was evident I didn't know at first that Joel Edgerton was playing Ramses but then like when I first saw him in the trailer you could obviously fucking tell it was like plain as day that that was a white guy playing an Egyptian that they darkened his skin a little bit. I was like, that's fucking incredibly racist. Um, I, I don't understand, like, I never understood why the fuck we, we have not gotten to this point yet and we're not casting members and, uh, er, casting people that to play their actual ethnicity for fuck's sake. I won't get that. I will never fucking get that. Um, I can understand that if you're like, uh, you know, if you want to try to, you know, some people, the re some of the reasons why they usually do that is because it's like to get big name actors to pl in the, the starring roles, but at the same fucking time, this is the story of Moses. People know the story of Moses. People are going to go see this no matter what. It's a story that everybody knows. You can cast whoever the fuck you want and religious people will still come out and see it. Anyways... But anyway, but that's not no rant. But also at the same time, I'm sitting there like, well, it's being directed by Ridley Scott, a guy who I really like. And also, you know, earlier this year we had Noah, which was entertaining to say the least. Um, was batshit insane, and I was sitting there like, you know what? I'm hoping this movie is ju just as batshit insane as the, the Noah was. And this movie has not been getting very good reviews, but I heard a couple people say. Uh, you could, it's a really bad movie, but you should still see it. And I'm thinking, maybe this is like Noah, where it's really bad, like really fucking crazy, that I have to recommend it. Well, no, it isn't. It's just not very, I'll just say this right now, this movie isn't very good at all. Um, it's very fucking boring. Honestly, I was just sitting there waiting for this movie to fucking end half the time. I was bored out of my skull. I was the only one in the theater, by the way, too, for seeing this movie. I, I did not like this movie at all. It wasn't very good. It's probably one of Ridley Scott's worst movies in a long time. I know, I'm, I, and I usually support even the movies that a lot of people hate, like Robin Hood, Prometheus, and stuff like that. But this one wasn't very good at all. It's just, there's many problems with it. Like I said, one of the main problems is that it was just so fucking boring. Um, I couldn't give a flying fuck about anybody in this movie. There's no, it's, weirdly enough, uh, I'll get in the, like, there is no character development whatsoever. fucking ever. Like, I'll get more into that, but I want to talk about the casting a little bit more in this fucking movie. That's one of the problems. Now, Christian Bale was fine. Christian Bale was okay. But then you have fucking, like I said, Joel Edgerton as Ramses, which is distracting. 
Like, it is very distracting. The makeup is horrible in this movie. The makeup is awful. Like, they did a horrible job, like, trying to cover a white guy playing an Egyptian. But, again, Joel Edgerton, I believe, is Irish playing an Egyptian. But that's not even the, not the worst one. At the beginning of the movie, fucking John Turturro is a fucking pharaoh. What? <laughs> that is the worst makeup. That was the worst, the most distracting. The makeup for John Turturro was awful. Borderline laughable. Um, it was so bad. And you're put, you got a guy, they're not even trying to, I don't know if there's, I don't know if there would be an accent, but they're not even trying to hide their, like, actual, they're not trying to even speak like the people, or the Egyptian people at all. They're, they're just fucking acting like themselves. I, I don't know. This movie was not very good. Um, there, this movie does have a lot of bat shit. I will say this. There was a lot of stuff that in this movie that were a lot of bat shit and saying things about this movie. Like I said, the casting is one of them. Um, also, by the way, was Sigourney Weaver, I'm looking this up, I swear to fucking God, one of the women in this movie was Sigourney Weaver, and that was even more distracting, I'm looking that up right now, I forgot to look that up, hold on, give me a second, was Sigourney Weaver in this movie? I swear, she was! What?! Fucking goddamn it! Like, it, like it was, it was distracting. Like, and then, that was another one I remember. Like, like I was like, who the fuck is that? I'm like, oh my god, that is not Sigourney Weaver, right? Apparently, she was fucking in this. Um, Jesus Christ, I forget what she was playing because I fucking can't even remember any of the fucking characters in this movie. <laughs> I literally can't. I couldn't tell you a damn thing about any of these characters in this movie. Other than maybe, like, Moses, for, alright, this is a weird thing that they did in this movie. I'm sure this wasn't in the Bible, I'm not religious at all, but I'm fucking sure I was, this wasn't in the Bible, that Moses just straight up kills people. I'm not joking here. Moses literally just walks up and fucking stabs people. He's like fucking James Bond, Dale Craig's James Bond, like, in this movie. He's like, just fucking kills people and asks questions later. It's like, what the fuck? And then, <laughs> I'm sitting there going, whoa, wait. <laughs> like, the first time, like, there was a scene where, I'm not joking, he goes to, um, to the village, uh, and sees Ben Kingsley's character, who's like a elder of the slaves, and he, Ben Kingsley, or, he goes in there, uh, with, uh, a bunch of, like, security, and he goes in there, and, uh, Ben Kingsley tells him that he's Moses, and that he was a Hebrew, and all shit like that, and then he walks out of there, and the next scene is you see him, I'm not joking here, as he's walking out, he comes across two securities, security men, and he just fucking stabs them, and you're like, what the fuck? I mean, I'm just like sitting there like, that was just out of fucking nowhere. So, Moses is a fucking killer now? Like, he does it a few times in this movie. You're like, I'm pretty goddamn certain that was not in the Bible. <laughs> I'm like, and also, I'm like, you know, this is like one of the only things I like, and like, this is the, the really asshole version of God. Like, the Old Testament fucking just murdering kids like there's just like you know in the in the story of like, the plagues the plague that he kills like all the new or firstborn childs it literally happens there's just people see like whole fucking five minute scene of people find their firstborns dead that was disturbing um, <laughs> um also I kind of there was one thing there's a couple things I did like here and there but well, like, one of them, like, when they, the explanation, they, they try to give a little bit of a logical explanation for the Red Sea, uh, or, like, how, why this, uh, the sea is turned red, like, out of fucking nowhere, I'm not joking here, like, like, when the plague starts, these crocodiles just come out, giant fucking CGI crocodiles come out of nowhere and just fucking tear up these people, 
uh, and just rip them apart. Um, this is a PG-13, by the way. Um, <laughs> and there's just, you know, fills the water of blood and everything else, and then, you know, it, it's, there's a lot of horrible CGI, like CGI frogs, and what was the other one that was really bad? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. I fucking, I, I'm just going on a rant about this. There's not really much to talk about. Also, like I said, when I talk about, like, there was no fucking character development in this movie, um, there's a good example of no character development. Um, <laughs> the, the Moses' wife, uh, I didn't, I, again, I have, I don't, I, I, I know the basics of the Moses story and stuff. I didn't, I don't remember him having a wife, but <laughs> literally, they share one scene together. One scene. I'm not joking. One fucking scene together. And then the next scene you see them in, they're getting married. And then the next scene after that, they're banging. I am not joking here. <laughs> oh, and then, yeah, like, and you're like, and then, like, you're supposed to give a fuck about, like, when he leaves his family. I'm like, I don't give a, like, and, oh, yeah, after they bang, literally after they bang, it flashes forward nine years later, and you're like, well, what the fuck? For a movie that's two and a half hours long, this movie feels a lot fucking rushed. Really does. I'm not joking. This movie feels rushed. Although at the same time, I don't want to see a longer version of this movie at all because this movie is boring as shit as a sin. But this movie felt rushed. Like there was scenes cut out of this movie. Like for being a two and a half hour movie, it feels like there was big chunks of it cut out. Um, like impar like important to character building. Some building some of these characters I should give a fuck about. I don't. Um, ah, fuck this movie. <laughs> this movie wasn't very good. Um, oh, and then, just to, this should just tell you, like, everything you need to know about this movie. God in this movie, when God comes to Moses through the burning bush, and throughout the movie, the rest of the movie, God is taken in a form of a fucking creepy little fucking child. I am not joking. Moses is having conversations with God through this fucking creepy ass child. Why? I have no idea. And it's like, this child's delivering dialogue that's supposed to sound scary, but sounds unintentionally funny. <laughs> Honestly. Um, <laughs> like menacing and stuff, but it sounds unintentionally funny. And again, I like I like God's mentality. Like, all right, I'm just gonna kill all the newborns. I'm gonna fucking just make these people's lives miserable just because they're the the Pharaoh is a dick. Like, make the whole city's uh, uh, lives miserable by killing all their crops, killing all their children. Makes no fucking sense. Whatever. Like, fuck off. Like, this is like the vengeful god, and Like, everybody, like, it, like he's, it, like, is it, this is the Noah, the, the god from Noah, for fuck's sake. Um, just, I, no, Noah is a way better movie, by the way. Way better movie, because Noah is just batshit insane that everybody needs to see that movie. Um, <laughs> This movie made some changes to the, like, uh, to the biblical story, but not as drastic as that one did. Uh, and as, like, Noah's gonna stick out like a sore thumb forever. Like, that one, at least, was not boring. That movie had fucking rock monsters. Fucking rock monsters. That's all you need. If you ever seen Noah, fucking rock monsters. That's all you need to know about it. <laughs> There's rock monsters. I'm not joking. If you haven't seen Noah, go watch it now. Don't watch Noah. Don't watch Exodus Gods and Kings. And Noah is mur likes to murder babies. Yeah, that's it. Um, um, now I'm just going in on about fuck, fuck Exodus Gods and Kings. This movie is bad, and there's no point for this to be free. This is the most pointless 3D I've seen in every long fucking time. I saw this in 3D. I'm like, why was this in 3D? I was just sitting there like, I, 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 fuck. Just I had to pay fourteen dollars for this shit. I could just watch it in two D. You know, it's been the same fucking thing except I was wearing sunglasses. Fuck this! I, fuck this movie. 
Um, this, this, and you know, usually the end of the year is like the time where we get a lot of good movies. Oh, man, oh man, has this been a different, like, a lot of the good, a lot of the best movies I've seen this year came out, like, during the summer and stuff like that. And some of the worst movies I've seen this year came out at the end of the year. Fuck. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, and, like, this is, this month has kind of been disappointing because I'm like, a lot of the movies that I thought were going to get really well received have been getting not very good reviews. This one I kind of expected to get bad reviews, but I was expecting a little bit better. It's, again, it's Ridley Scott. I like Ridley Scott. The only thing I actually liked was at the end of the movie. It says, uh, to my loving brother, Tony Scott. Or, er, yeah, that was sad. I, I, I was sad to see that, but... <sighs> Fuck! There's better movies, better better movies to dedicate this uh, to your brother than this fucking piece of shit. Um, Tony Scott, I miss. Uh, yeah, I miss Tony Scott. I always liked Ridley Scott better than Tony. Uh, but yeah, Tony Scott. That, was, that still sucks. I'm just going on about Tony Scott. So there we go. Um, this is a, just don't fucking go see Exodus, Gods and Kings. Now, as far as trailers, I only got two of them. But one stuck out like the fucking sore thumb. I'm going to go on a rant here pretty soon. Uh, the first trailer I did get was called uh, the new trailer for Kingsman The Secret Service, which actually kind of looked pretty good, actually. It's like Colin Firth is uh, like a James Bondish kind of uh, agent who's training like these young British uh, 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 teenagers to become uh, James Bondish. And it looks fun. It looks uh, Colin Firth looks like he's gonna be a lot of fun in this movie. Um, it, it looks like he'll be fun in it. I honestly, I like this trailer better than I like the first one. Um, it, it looks like it'll be fun. Um, it's being directed by the guy who made Kick Ass and X Men the first X Men First Class. So so far, but yeah, Matthew Vaughn has made some pretty damn good movies. So I'm kind of uh, want to see what he does next. Um, and also, what the fuck? I've, I've said this about the last, when I saw the Flash trailer. What is up with Sam Jackson's uh, voice in this movie? He has a lisp. He's talking like this. You know, the whole time. Like, what, what the fuck is he, Buckwheat in this movie? Uh, fuck up. Why? It's like, that was distracting. <laughs> that was distracting, even in this trailer. And then, I got... <sighs> This movie called Black or White. Now, this is got this trailer needs to be seen to be believed. I am not joking when I describe this. I'm just gonna describe this. People YouTube it. Go on YouTube and fucking look this up. It's a movie called it's a movie that starts out like the trailer it's Kevin Costner, who's in his the hundredth comeback role. Uh he's a guy who's raising his black granddaughter because his daughter has died and also his wife has died so he's raising her by himself and the black grandmother comes uh to the house to visit um who's played by octavia spencer and i'm not fucking joking here her name is grandma wee wee grandma wee wee Yep, I am not joking. They literally say that with a fucking straight face in the trailer. But that's not the worst part of this movie trailer. Not even fucking by a country mile. At the end of the fucking trailer, it turns fucking racist. <laughs> it really becomes a really racist trailer all of a sudden. Because apparently Kevin Costner also is a racist, even though... Um, and... Because there's a scene, there's a, I'm not joking, there's a line of dialogue in this trailer, and it, the trailer literally ends this way, where Kevin Costner, they, who, who asked him? I forget, lawyer, he's in court, he's, he's trying to get custody of this little girl, and he, the lawyer asked him, and I'm not joking here, he says, do you hate all black people? He says, I'm not joking here. Kevin Costner says, with a straight face, I don't hate all of them, just some of them. What? <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, that just fucking happened. 
so, and it, the trailer like literally ends there, and you're like, <coughs> this. I saw this movie a day after the news that fucking the interview. Of, I'm not gonna get in a, I could get in a whole rant about that right now. So I'm still fucking pissed at Hollywood and Sony and all that shit. But this came a day after the the. <laughs> the uh, news that that got canceled by Sony. This movie is being allowed with lines of dialogue like that during times where we have had pretty crazy racial tension going on. You have lines of dialogue in a fucking trailer like that and you're worried about fucking North Korea. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck this movie. Fuck Hollywood. But, like... How the fuck did that get, like, allowed in a fucking trailer and lines of dialogue get allowed in that fuck? Fuck this, fuck this movie. Fuck Hollywood. Fuck Sony. Fuck North Korea. Fuck Kevin Costner. Everybody. I'm just going, I'm, like, I'm just sitting there like, fuck this shit. <laughs> like, I'm so ready to go. See, I'm, just, I'm knocking down fucking uh, Blu-rays Blu off my desk here. Apologies. I'm just getting, this is just a rant now. Like, god damn it. Then, <laughs> like, I was ready to go see uh, an interview next week, but fuck, fuck Hollywood. And their fucking coward, Sony and their fucking cowardice ways. Uh, fucking don't have a fucking pair of nuts on them, assholes. Um... <laughs> I could do a whole video about that. Anyways, I'm gonna get off here because I'm just I'm just now ranting and raving. Uh, but uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be back tomorrow uh, with a review for the last Hobbit movie, which I'm gonna. I was I, at first I was happy because it wasn't it wasn't being released in high frame rate at my theater. Then it did after last. Then after I checked again the uh, last couple days, it's in high frame rate. So fuck me. I'm gonna get some Tylenol and go see that movie. I'm gonna try to maybe maybe this movie will change my opinion about high frame rate. I highly fucking doubt it. But I'm bringing some fucking Tylenol this time. Now. <laughs> If you didn't watch my review last year, I had a fucking giant headache because of that thing. So, I'm going to go see that tomorrow. Last fucking Lord of the Rings movie. Yay! <laughs> I'm one of the people, only people that are happy that this is the last Lord of the Rings movie. Um, and then, uh, I'll be back with that tomorrow, and I'll see you guys later.